We don't have capacity to print new notes, MFLA declares. Can you imagine? So I know that there was a state house meeting at Abuja where the all the people actually um the stakeholders in that meeting uh, presided over by Buhari gave uh, Mefele a marching order to go and print the new Naira note or allow the old notes to remain in circulation to in order to alleviate the suffering of the people. Now Mefele has come out uh, to say that uh, Nigerian printing and meeting company does not have that capacity. Wow. On Friday, Mr. Mefiela told the leaders that the Nigerian Security Printing and Minting uh, Company, the Mint, okay, suffers capacity constraint, resulting in the failure to print adequate new notes to replace the old 200, 500, and 1,000 naira notes. The Mint uh, has run out of papers to print 500 and 1,000 notes. They have placed orders with a German firm and De La Rue of the UK. Uh, for papers, but they have been placed on the long waiting list, so their orders cannot be met now. The Mint had received CBS request to print 70 million copies of the new notes, totally 126 billion naira, okay, to be pumped into circulation by today, uh, okay, that is uh, by Friday, okay, but the Mint doesn't have the capacity a source to premium times. Meanwhile, Mr. Buhari was non-committal at the meeting and barely spoke. The source added, he left the meeting as at the, as the time for the Muslims' Juma prayer drew close and his deputy vice president, Shibanjo, took over. Shibanjo said the president would take a decision. Can you imagine? So the meeting was inconclusive now, okay? Because if Buhari didn't really say anything, and then the meeting he left for his Juma uh, prayers, and then uh, uh, Oshibayo took over and didn't conclude it and said the president would take a decision. It means that the meeting was not conclusive. So the outcome of that meeting is not going anywhere. Meanwhile, seven days after President Muhammad Ubari promised to address the cash crisis that hit the country following the Naira redesign and old note swap policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, the new and old Naira notes have remained elusive daily trust saturday report last december the Gordon mfla led cbn introduced the new notes and made efforts to fight corruption terrorism counterfeiting and related crimes with january 31st 2023 as deadline however nigerians have had a hard time getting the new notes amid scarcity and rising tension across the country forcing the apex bank to extend the deadline by 10 days which was due on February 10th, uh, Friday, February 10th, 2023. President Buhari had on February 3 implored Nigerians to give him seven days to resolve the cash crunch that has become a problem across the country from the policy of the CBN. The president made the call while speaking to the Progressive Governors Forum, PGF, who paid him a visit to seek solution to the cash crunch, which they said was threatening the good records of the administration in transforming the economy. Buhari, in a statement by his spokesman, Malami, Malam Garuba Shehu, noted that he had seen television reports on cash shortages and hardship to local businesses and ordinary people and gave assurances okay, that the balance of seven of the 10 days extension would be used to crack down on whatever stood in the way of its successful implementation. Okay, there has been a flurry of suits at the Supreme Court by some state governors challenging the Apex Bank's policy over the hardship the policy has brought on the people. Wow, the Apex Court had issued an order asking the CBN and the federal government not to go ahead with implementation of the policy pending the determination of the substantive suits before it. But seven days after Buhari's assurance, Nigerians have expressed disappointment over his inability to resolve the issue as long queues persist in banks across the country. A meat seller at Agige, Lagos 
Shakiru Alabi said she knew President Buhari was not going to solve the problem within seven days. Can you imagine? And Yakuti is such a woman. He said from his body language, MFLA is working for him. I was not expecting him to do anything. He should come to Lagos and see how people are suffering to get their money. People will leave their home to queue at banks from 5 a.m. to collect 2,000 naira. He lamented, saying the situation has drastically affected their businesses. For comrade Yusuf Ibrahim Yara, a resident of Kona in Dala local government area of Kano State, the, uh, the promise by the president failed due to improper coordination in his team. Yara said he would not blame the president alone for the failure, but his cabinet, who he said failed to understand and believe in the suffering Nigerians are facing as a result of the policy. Another resident of Kano State, Abdullahi Usman, an engineer said people had already given up and didn't put much expectation on the promise by the president. I think the government lacks sincerity of purpose. Instead of improving the economy, it was brought, uh, it has brought hardship, he said. Now, wow. Now, the, 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 the Council of State uh, meeting outcome where um, the Council of the State told CBN to go and circulate ordinary notes. How will CBN also do that? Let's see. Okay. Um, the Council of State yesterday backed the new currency redesign policy, but advised the CBN to ensure the availability of Naira notes to dial tension and ameliorate suffering of citizens across the country. But unfortunately, they don't have that capacity. That is what the CBN government is saying. Meanwhile, governments of Kano and Ondo State have filed separate suit before the Supreme Court against the federal government in respect of the policy. So that suit again is also to be determined uh, going forward. <laughs> in the midst of all of that, speaking further, Ishaku said the INEC chairman briefed the Council of State on their preparedness for the forthcoming general election. The Inspector General of Police has also told the council that they were equally prepared for the elections. You are not prepared for election now. Let's be frank. Why are we deceiving now? Uh, all the CSUs, everybody is saying they are prepared. There is no security in the land. There is hardship everywhere. Petty traders are suffering. Everybody is suffering and you are saying you are prepared for election. How? Quite unfortunate. Okay, so a few comments here. Somebody say, it just be a governor. You don't have capacity to print new currency. You want to cause destruction and, and rioting in Nigeria. God bless Ero 5 for the judicial victory. Can you imagine? This person, uh, this is his own view anyway. So what? again, implementation is very, very wrong. The policy is good, but implementation is wrong. Now, MFLA should have known the capacity of the CBA. This poor planning, poor implementation. You are, you are making a policy and you did not do all your homework or your groundwork very well. How is that possible? Okay. Now you are telling us that the, uh, the, the Nigerian Security Printing and Meeting uh, PLC does not have capacity to print more Naira notes. But you were quick to mop out all the currency in circulation. You mopped out 2 trillion Naira and you are now bringing back 200 billion in circulation. Does that make sense? What about the, the balance 1.8 trillion? So do you think 200 billion will cover the gap that uh, the withdrawal of the 2 trillion would have cost? No. So that is the problem we have. So MFLA has misfired. That is the truth. And now the, the state council meeting was held at Abuja where he has been given a march, or, marching order to either go and print more money to beef up uh, the amount in circulation and alleviate the suffering or allow the old note to be recirculated. And you are now coming out to tell us that the CBN does not have the capacity to print more. So why did you even start implementing the policy in the first place? This is part of APC government failure. They have failed. That is the truth. Eh? Somebody said, maybe let's know what he's doing. He has proved uh, error five. Kaimi. Mean. <laughs> yeah, he pri probably he just wants to suffer the election. He wants to make sure he controls the vote by it. And maybe like cannot tell me that CBN doesn't have the capacity to pray. He cannot tell me that at this level, okay, uh, he, does, he didn't plan all of this and put uh, contingencies and structures in place. He can't say that. 
He just he definitely do what he's doing with the Bari to make sure that they starve the society of cash so that these people that want to buy vote will not buy the vote. I am pretty sure that immediately after the election on May 11, money will pump, be pumped into circulation. I am pretty sure of that. And this one that we have seen uh, commercial banks holding the Naira note must have been instruction from the CBN to across to all the banks that they should manage how they release it so that they don't give these vote buyers opportunity to amass cash that they will use in vote buying. All of this CBN is the mastermind that knows what he's doing. And I, I, I believe that to a large extent. Why they start to what you can't finish? Yes, <laughs> that was the question I asked earlier. It is a shame to MFL and PMB for not being able to finish what they started, therefore putting us in agonies. Why embark on what you do not have the capacity to do? That's another thing. The CBN governor is a sick man. <laughs> okay, that's, that, you see, <laughs> that is the country, uh, that's why the country is not working. Bari is a dead person intellectually. Can you imagine? What about a mafia? All of them, APC party incompetence everywhere. That is true. Nope, Bari confused, sir. So Bari is confused. <laughs> no capacity to print more uh to print more 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 money then why bring in this policy now about we are buying money with money so the truth is that cbn knows what he's doing that is my submission so thank you for listening and let's have a comment